Greetings from the center of the universe. My name is Calvin. In the last video I did on parallax, I mentioned that the parallax method could be used to measure distances from us to some other object without actually having to travel to it or measure with a ruler. So in that video, I just showed generally how the parallax method could be used but I didn't actually calculate or measure any real distances to the objects like my thumb or the moon or something. So in this video, I want to actually use the power of mathematics to calculate the distance. It's actually quite easy, I'll show you how. Let's start by finding the distance from my thumb when it's outstretched in front of me. I'll start by using the parallax method to measure the distance, then see how accurate that is in comparison to measuring the old fashioned way with a ruler. So we'll need to measure the apparent distance that my thumb seems to move across the background when I switch eyes. This distance is actually an angle in degrees. So we'll need some sort of angle measuring device, uh, like a sextant. This measures angles and sailors used it to navigate the sea. It actually measures a set of a number of angles as a fraction of a full circle. So we can create our own sextant quite easily, very simple by just using a strip of paper and a ruler and we'll be able to measure angles. So let's go do that now. All right, we've got our piece of paper. We've got a ruler, we're gonna make a sextant. I'm gonna place the piece of, piece of paper down, going to line up the ruler with the zero mark right on the edge of the piece of paper. And I'm gonna grab a marker and just make notches at the zero mark and then five millimeters, 10 millimeters, 15, 20, and we can keep going, but I think I'll actually stop right here. That'll be enough for now. And then I will label these. I'll do this one as zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, and 10. Now, it looks like all we've done is made another ruler that measures in five millimeter increments. But if I hold this up to my eye at exactly 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters away, it will actually measure in degrees. And what we can do actually is because a ruler is 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters long typically, uh, I can just tape this to the end and hold it up to my eye and I'll be able to easily measure degrees. So let me just tape it up. All right, that will be good enough. It's just held on there. So when I hold this up right to my eye, I can measure in degrees. So let's go start measuring some angles. All right, so I held it up to my eye I'll also hold it up to the camera here and we'll be able to measure the number of degrees across that planet is from where we are. So this is about three degrees across. All right. Now I'm gonna measure the parallax angle that I see when I switch my eyes with my thumb outstretched in front of me. So I set up a arrow over there, so I'm going to hold my thumb out and look with my right eye only and line up with the end of the arrow, and then I will switch eyes to my left eye, and then I will hold the sextant up to my left eye and notice that my thumb has moved from the parallax. So now when I line up my sextant, the zero, to the arrow, then I will see that my thumb has appeared to have moved about five degrees. So that's the angle of the parallax with my thumb, five degrees. 
All right, so the next step is to measure the distance between my left pupil and my right pupil. And I've got a ruler to do that, and it really helps if I have a mirror. So I'm going to put this right up to my head, and I'm going to look with just my right eye to put the zero point of the ruler right over my pupil, and then I will switch to my left eye, and it looks like I measure about 6.5 centimeters, or 65 millimeters. We've got all the pieces. Now all we have to do is put them together into a calculation. What we have is we've got the distance to my pupils, so here's my eyeballs. And the distance to my pupils is 65 millimeters. And I've got my arm outstretched looking at my thumb. So I've got my thumb here. And when I'm looking with just my left eye, it appears as though it's over here. And when I'm looking with just my right eye, it appears as though my thumb is somewhere over here. So that apparent motion is the parallax angle that we measured here, which is five degrees. So now I'm gonna use these two numbers to measure the distance from my eyes all the way to my thumb when it's outstretched in front of me like that. In order to do that, we need the parallax formula. So I will get that. This is the parallax formula. It shows the distance to my thumb is equal to the distance between my eyes which we measured to be 6.5 centimeters or 65 millimeters, divided by the parallax angle in radians. And what are those? Well, we measured our parallax angle in degrees. We got five degrees. So now we have to convert those degrees into this angle called radians. So we'll need one more formula before we can use this one. Let's get that. Okay, here we have the angle in radians, which is equal to the angle in degrees multiplied by pi, or 3.14, divided by 180 degrees. So let's get our angle in degrees, which we measured to be 5 degrees. And uh, we'll take 5 degrees, multiply by pi, divided by 180, and I've done this calculation, and I got 0.0873 radians. So now all we have to do is take this number and plug it into our parallax formula. Then we take 65 millimeters or 6.7 centimeters divided by 0.0873 radians. And we get the distance to my thumb, which I calculated to be 745 millimeters or 74.5 centimeters. All right, so is that correct? Does all of this calculation work? We can test it with the old fashioned way, a ruler. So I'll just find the zero in centimeters. I'll put it up to my eyes and then I'll get my thumb outstretched as I've done before. And then I will measure that to be, let's see, Looks like 70, 71 centimeters, so 710 millimeters. And we got 745 millimeters. So that's only like 35 millimeters off. That's actually pretty good considering, uh, considering we used our homemade sextant, this thing here, um, just sort of eyeballing it um, <laughs> quite literally. And uh, we got pretty close. So can we use this formula to measure farther distances? Let's try to find the distance from the Earth to the Moon. For the distance from the Earth to the Moon, it's the same situation. And if you remember in the first video, uh, instead of using my own eyeballs, I actually used two cities. I used a city 
Vancouver, British Columbia, and another city, St. John's, and this is the Earth. So these are the two cities, and I measured a parallax angle of the moon instead of a thumb. Let's remove the thumb. And so I don't have to draw the moon. We've got the moon here. And from Vancouver, I saw that the moon was somewhere over here. And from St. John's, I saw that the moon was somewhere over here. So uh, there's an angle that was measured. I measured in stellarium and I got 0 0.739 degrees. And the distance between Vancouver and St. John's is 4,546 kilometers. And I can take these two numbers and find the distance from the Earth to the Moon using the same formula. Except instead of the distance to my thumb, it's actually the distance to the Moon. And instead of the distance between my eyes, it's actually the distance from Vancouver to St. John's. Now, the distance from Vancouver to St. John's, I measured to be 4,546 kilometers. And the parallax angle needs to be in radians, so we're going to have to go to our angle formula again. And the angle we measured is point. 739 degrees, multiply by pi, divide by 180 degrees. I calculated that to be 0.013 radians. And just like before, I can take this out of this one, plug it into this formula, and we take our 4,546 kilometers, divide that by 0.013 radians, and what I got was 352,500 kilometers. So that's the distance from the Earth all the way to the Moon. That's, that's quite the distance. <laughs> all right. And just to double check, uh, I looked it up online and it's the actual distance is 380,400 kilometers. So in astronomical terms, not too far off, actually. <laughs> We've measured the distance from the Earth to the Moon using parallax, and in the previous video, I mentioned that some astronomers can measure the distances to the nearby stars using the parallax method. Uh, instead of having two cities, we would actually use the one side of Earth's orbit and the other side of Earth's orbit to get the parallax angle so that we can measure very great distances using the method of parallax. Exo Explorations is a grade school level educational resource that teaches about stars in the sky and the planets that orbit them. You can learn more at centeroftheuniverse.org slash exoexplorations.